Welcome to the show, this is our animal talk. Live long and prosperous in the words of spot. Comic books, art, and video games on the agenda. Discuss flows, movies, and shows with the two sound benders. Welcome to the stage with the spirit animals. Direct and be one ninja about to grasp at your souls. And hit you in the feels with a little bit of nostalgia. Thanks for tuning in to us for around the next hour. I wanna do, I wanna do, left and right up, left and right up. Now we got the arsenal, careful now, my squad about to ride up. We got God mode on, you best step the fuck back. We got the knowledge of a passion, come with the facts on the track. These are the things you love and like to speak about. The shit we do on a downtime and when we in route. How we level up in 9,000. Read me on a scout, getting twisted in your own defeat. So you bitch and pout. Super Jews to the next seats, and the Saiyan race too. Superheroes and super suits, SSJ2 with Super Saiyan Blue. What you think of that tag? Graph art speaks true. The culture in the history sticks to us like super glue. And yes, we can match too. Pass me the grinder, we can discuss a famous strain. Just give me the lighter. Flip it to Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. Let's see what looks interesting. Blow off the Welcome dust. Welcome back, everyone. I'm one of your hosts, B1 Ninja. And I'm Derek the Delinquent. And this is Animal Talk Season 2. On this show, we're going to talk about the things that interest us, such as video games, comic books, movies, and other shit. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all the videos with your homies, and let us know your opinions on the videos, and help us up with some new topics for the videos. We always like to hear something new. Check it out. Yo, what's happening, y'all? We's back. What's good? Bitch. We in the hood. Um, we got some cool shit for you today, but as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Let us know that we doing good, or what we can approve on, or what you want to see. But anyways, just a little overview today. So we got a few few little topics. What don't think it'll be a super fuck shit talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing some <laughs> talks about Endgame. We're going to be doing some MCU theories. Uh, we're going to be doing a top five today, as always. Drum roll, please. Yeah, we got our own drum roll. And then we'll hit it, or we'll end it with the you can only keep three again. Bam. So, let's start off, shall we? End game. So, uh, first, real quick before we dabble into that, spoiler warning, which it's been out for a minute. You should have seen it, but whatever. So yeah, if you if you care about it and you haven't seen it already, do you really care about it? Yeah, for real. But anyways... So, Frank has seen not all the MCU movies, I've seen, but a good amount. I've seen, like, a majority a of the main Avenger the, movies. Yeah, like, the the beginning ones. And, like, basically. the Iron Man movies. It was, like, I didn't watch the, like, Captain America movies or the, like, yeah. newer Hulk. He uh, was, like, one. Phase 1, Phase 2, basically. Yeah. Those are the ones he's seen. And then he also seen Infinity yeah, War. Yeah, then I've seen Game. Infinity War and Endgame. So, he's got a general knowledge. I have seen all of them except for the newest Spider Man movies and. Oh, yeah, I saw Spider Man movies too. I think that's it. Or and if you. And technically, because Venom now is part of it, I haven't seen Venom either. But, regardless of that, what did you think of Endgame? Tell me your thoughts. So, yeah, like I said earlier, if you cared about Endgame and you haven't seen it yet, did you really care? Me, I had just seen it for the first time, like last week. Uh, so I didn't really care much, like, going into it. But it was still... By now, no, he's yeah. not the biggest comic book But fan. it was still, I mean, it was still a cool movie. Like, yeah. I, I'm glad that they were finally able to, like... The idea of bringing, like, a bunch of movies together into a storyline and then taking other, like, parts of it and also, mm -hmm. like, putting it to the storyline, I just thought oh, was yeah. cool as it's, fuck. It's and so amazing. now to see this part of the story... And this kind of seems like, you know, the end of the story, but, of course, they're mm -hmm. a movie production, so they're going to yeah. find ways to, you know, bring it back. So I'm just interested as to how they're going to try to bring it back. After. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, yeah, as far as the bringing all those movies together, that was quite an achievement. No franchise movie universe has ever done anything that big, like... This is, uh, Kevin that movie Smith. was like 20 something movies, but he's close. I'm yeah, I mean, Kevin Smith alone is close, which, I mean, we gotta give props to, but I was I'm like, just saying, nobody him, is on the I was Marvel like, the level. only one who can maybe is, uh, fucking Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. But I don't know how many movies he has. Yeah. So, but he has a lot too. But that would regardless, be an interesting competition. Specifically, the way they did it, though, a lot different. Like, they all intersect at yeah. the end, so, and, you know, most of the characters, were, like, the other ones are dead, so. But regardless, I thought it was good, not great. I 
did like Infinity War more. Um, and me, I read the Same. original comic too. And here's the thing: is the time travel element did exist in the original comic. They just did it very differently, and they switched yeah. things up. Like first off, the snap was the beginning of Infinity War in the comic. It wasn't at the end. That's how that shit started. And everyone's like, "What the fuck's going on?" And then eventually, in the end, uh, like Thanos is winning, and there's a hell of people trying to like battle and whatever, but. Nebula, or I think it was Nebula, yeah, she's like, he killed, she's dead, but then he brought her back, and she's like the zombie thing, whatever, and all hope's about to be lost, but then she steals the gauntlet from him out of nowhere, but then she kind of goes evil, and so first she like rewinds time back to before everything happens, so now everyone's alive again, so that fixed that, yeah. and then, but then after that, it's Adam Warlock and Thanos, and Adam Warlock is like, you know, the whole reason you did this is because you wanted to be beat. And apparently it's like a subconscious thing, and so Thanos teams up with Adam Warlock and the Avengers to beat Nebula now. And yeah, that's how Damn. Infinity War originally went. So I thought it was an interesting take on the time travel. I, I felt like there was a few little like plot holes and problems with it. And I don't know, the, the battles were cool, but I didn't think they were like as epic as Infinity War yeah. was, you know what I mean? So... It was overall a good movie, but I don't know. I think I would have done certain things yeah. differently. Personally, when it comes to like comic book movies, I'm the type of dude that I'm like, if the comic book is out, you have a script right there. Mm -hmm. You like just base it off that. Like, yes, I understand that they have to change some things to keep it interesting for like, a, like a television. Yeah, audience. like change the things you got. That's fine, but but personally, outline. yeah, personally, I just want. Like, I, I just want to see the comic book into a movie. Yeah, exactly. You know and see, that's saying? the thing. is Infinity War. The reason why I liked it is it was different than the comic, but it still had the same element. Yeah. Endgame was completely original. They took ideas I could see from different stuff, but altogether it was its own yeah. thing and straight away completely from the comic. Um, but going off of that, were there any, like, specific changes you would have made to it? Um... I mean, no, because every, like everything that they did, I understand mm -hmm. why it was done, and it was definitely, like it definitely benefited them. Yeah. So any changes I would make, they would all just be personal preference shit. Mm -hmm. Like I would definitely want to see more like Spider Man in it, like see him come back early. Yeah, I would definitely. Like one of the more. first people to come back. Yeah. So yeah, but it's just personal preference shit, so it's not really. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that would be like a, I would say good change. Yeah, so. I feel it. I think the only thing I would have really changed is the way they did the time travel. St like, I don't think it should have been a time. I get what it did, what they were trying to do. It made sense. Like, if you take it from one point in time and yeah. put it exactly back in time, it's like it's never gone, and it doesn't change the past either from what you did. Yeah. But I don't know. I think there was a better. Like, first off. They went to, like, all the hardest points in time to try and snag yeah. this. Though. Like, a battle each time. I'm like, what the fuck are you thinking? Why not go on a Wednesday when there was no war? And well, it had to be chilling. through, like, a, a time they remember it being. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, literally, the day after the battle, when it was just chilling in shield security, why not just walk in like, Yeah, oh, good point. Like, oh, hey, <laughs> yeah, tell well, me what point. you doing here. Oh, I just came to check Can't on the gym. Yeah, like... Yeah. <laughs> Like, dude, they really did not think that well. Like, no, it's shield. They could even explain it like, dog, I'm from the future. If you see me around here, tell mm -hmm. me to get the fuck out of here. But I'm going to be here. I need that. I'll be back. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't know. It was just funny. And then the other thing is there's that one little scene where, like, all the, or, like, Captain Marvel is trying to get to the van or whatever. And oh, the yeah. girls walk up okay, like, yeah, we'll so help you. Yeah, so right after Captain Marvel just lived through flying, not a only, giant alien spaceship, yeah, not only into Earth's atmosphere, but through giant alien spaceships, like it was nothing. destroying them, with came out without a scratch, paper, and all these other like female superheroes coming out like, okay. we'll help you. What do you think about? It? I don't think she needed no fucking help. No, like I, I understand the point of the scene. I get it, and I'm glad the scene was in there. I think it was like. A great thing to happen as a scene, but when you think about it, she the logic, yeah, she, she didn't need no fucking help. She could like, just, it, it slows her down technically, having to just run on foot with them instead yeah, of just blasting through. She all could them. clearly fly. She yeah. could have just 
flew over them shit. I thought the woman empowerment was a good idea, it just wasn't well executed. Yeah, they just didn't think of... I have a feeling there was a dude who thought of that. Like, to me... That's why it didn't work. To me, it would have been a doper scene if, like, Captain Marvel was battling Thanos, and, like, she was, like, getting her ass beat for the minute because she still has the gauntlet. Yeah. And then, like, maybe they all... all just the women had yeah, jumped in while the men are dealing with that the guards and shit. See, that the problem cool. was, I think, a dude... Basically, like, redo I think, a, I think a dude wrote that scene and just, like... Probably. Just, like, oh, I gotta do something small for the, for the women. women. Yeah, fuck it. Like... And then just focus back on the movie. I bet you that it was like, hey, you know the the logic behind this doesn't make sense? Like, I don't care. Just it's like, fuck throw it, it in. Money. But she can blast it. It's fine. Just dog. They'll, they'll like it. They'll like it. He's like, how many zeros do you want in your account, dog? I can get you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty much Endgame. Uh, is there, do you have a favorite scene from there? Um, fuck. I remember there was one that had me dying. Oh, where Captain America says Hell Hydra. I thought that shit was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, that was a cool twist. Yeah, fuck it. Fucking, because you hadn't seen the original one, too, but the original way that went down is all the sh- fucking Hydra dude just started be- trying to beat his ass, and then he, like, beats the fuck out of yeah. him. And then he fights all the guards all the way out of the building. It's intense as fuck. He had to fight himself. Yeah, this time they're like, I don't know, you switch. I love how they went. They know... They should know, obviously, it's not Hydra. Hydra agents know who Hydra the uh, Captain America is their number one enemy. It's mm-hmm. like, they should know. Wait, uh, we never got no memo about you joining us. They're like, dog, let me see your They just went like, oh, Hydra, okay. This motherfucker wearing a wire. <laughs> it's like Skyrim logic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you stealing shit? No. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck, I gotta say, my favorite scene probably was... Honestly, it was probably the fucking moment when uh, Iron Man snapped his fingers. Yeah. Just because, like, it literally started with him and it ended with him. And all he said, yeah. he's like, I'm Iron Man. It was just, it was such a good scene. I thought it was great out for, for his character. That would be funny if Ozzy made a cameo right there and just fucking streamed it. <laughs> they, I really wanted him to start playing fucking Iron Man. Dude, that's what I thought Iron was going to happen, Man. too. I was really hoping. That, that would have been the most badass shit. I would have cemented it. I, I would have loved it too if instead he, t- when Thanos tried to stab his finger, he looked up, Iron Man punched him in the face, holding the gauntlet, he then said, I am Iron Man. <laughs> Strung a fucking power cord, hello. <laughs> that would have been fucking dope. <laughs> you know what would have been funny as fuck though? If right as he snapped, you just got, cause you are my best yes, friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> and motherfuckers just start That'd be great. Plopping. That'd be great. Fucking rock, babe. <laughs> um, That'd be sick. Well, yeah, that's our thoughts and. And our thoughts on Endgame. Yeah. Um, now we're going to discuss a little MCU theories. Um, so I have actually a really big one I was thinking about, right? So, we know that Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness has come out. And we heard the whole thing with the three spider man coming, which I think that got confirmed, but I haven't checked, so I don't know yet. So don't quote me on that, motherfucker. But, if it Beats. is... Um, my whole thinking is that Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness will directly connect into the Spider-Man movie somehow. And what's going to happen is Doc Strange will probably somehow meet up with the other Spider-Man. They'll accidentally get brought back. And then Spider-Man, those Spider-Man will be seen swinging around. So that will clear Peter Parker's yeah. name. Um, but that's like a, one kind of theory I was thinking about just while I was at work the other day. And I was like, oh, you know what? It's very possible if they want to... That would be a quick way to, like, logically put in the new Spider-Man yeah. now. And I think that would make a lot more sense than some of the other stuff I've heard. So, that'd be pretty cool. And on top of that, uh, I just think it would be funny if we got fucking Tobey Maguire's Venom come out. And we got yeah. the new Venom. <laughs> and just, just fight like each what? other real quick. New Venom would just fucking eat And him. you know it would be the greatest way to end it? Huh. <laughs> Doc Strange comes out, he's like, you know, I saw a million possibilities for this to happen. And the only way I've seen this working, you put my foot in your ass. <laughs> to the Spider-Man, or to the Tobey yeah, Maguire, that'd be great. That'd be great, dude. They Fuck need it. to throw that Slam the Show <laughs> reference in there. That'd be hilarious. Fucking, um, Like, all of them end with my foot up your ass. <laughs> you know what I thought about, too, is because now Venom is going to be part of the MCU. I don't know how much, but it is. But, uh... You know how there was a whole thing like Venom doesn't have the spider on his chest yeah. and obviously Peter didn't have the spider. 
I think what they could do is they're going to flip it up a little now since obviously they're not on the right side of time, but now they might rework it so that Venom leaves Tom Hardy, ends up on Spider-Man, Spider-Man does the whole same story, and then goes back to Venom, has the spider thing now, and, and all the other spider stuff, and then now it also create they could have a feud, and to which Spider-Man getting the Venom symbiote will piss Eddie off to when he gets it back, yeah. then he's like really pissed, plus the symbiote is pissed at Peter for not choosing him, and yeah, I think that would... Be a well Just way a to work on it. Fight scene. Yeah, so because literally the only change would be instead of going from Peter to Eddie, it went from Eddie Peter back to Eddie. You know, I think a sick way for uh, Tom Holland and uh, Tobey Maguire to, to meet up is fucking Doc Strange accidentally throws him into a portal that throws him into the ending fight scene in Spider Man Three. <laughs> <laughs> he has to fight fucking Sandman and. Uh, I know. Wait, wait, hold up. So. There was supposed to be a Spider-Man 4 with Carnage. Yeah. What if this is they take unused footage and they throw him at that <laughs> end scene where he's fighting Carnage, and that's how they do it. They're just like, oh, you never saw how this went down. Yeah, but so we'll, get, we'll, right we'll, we'll just give you the gist. <laughs> look, look, some of y'all listening and you're thinking... Get the fuck out of here. It'll be like a 20-minute scene where basically he'll get knocked into over there, he'll see the thing going on, like, oh shit, another Spider-Man. Some crazy dude. Well, might as well help him. <laughs> and then after that, they they won't beat him right there. And then they'll talk like this. It'll in a quick flashback. He'll give you the whole sum of what happened in the movie that was yeah. supposed to happen. And then they'll go back, kill him, and then go. Better to idea. Place. He gets in. He gets thrown into Spider-Man Three, right? But he doesn't immediately meet Tobey Maguire. The symbiote accidentally like. Well, a part of the symbiote goes to Tom Holland, and a part of the symbiote goes to fucking Tobey Maguire and it's the fucking walking scene down the street mm -hmm. and they're both doing it but walking like opposite ways towards each other and they both Damn. point at each other and they're just like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're emo too <laughs> that would be great <sighs> fucking break out in my like, chemical romance I was thinking another thing cause there's very big hint that the next big like event in the MCU is going to be secret invasion where, which is, you find out the scrolls um, basically kidnapped a bunch of superheroes and, like, impersonated them. And, like, for years and stuff, people didn't know that they were, oh, like... Shit. Yeah, they were, like, take, trying to, like, take over, but, like, secretly infiltrating everyone. So, like, I think Elektra was the first one that they found out was a scroll And they were, like, oh, shit, well, if she's one, we don't know who else could be one. And so, like, the whole superhero community was, like, at odds with each other. So I think we might get like another kind of civil war, secret, uh, secret invasion that lead eventually into like Doctor Doom and Fantastic Four and X Men, and then what I think is going to happen is uh, at the which will be the next Infinity War End Game type event, it'll be Secret Wars. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah, and we'll get to see, but it'll be the newer Secret Wars that came out in like 2015, and we're going to see God Doom. Is Deadpool in that? Pretty yeah, I think everyone's. Okay, in that. so I really just want a scene where Deadpool is just pissed off. That'd be great. J just not at anyone. Mm -hmm. He just woke up pissed off. Dude, and, yeah. And, and then just goes on a murder rampage dude, against superheroes. Dude, That'd be sick. The crazy thing is that Secret Wars is crazy because instead of just a couple superhero teams like battling out since villains in this one. Doom gets the power of the Beyonder, so he's basically God, and he makes this thing called Battle World, and it, he just has like. There's one where all the Marvel zombies are there, and the, it's just to keep people from not getting out. And then there's one where it's, like, a thousand Ultrons that just rule the world. And then, like, there's, like, multiple Thors that all, like, follow Doom, and it's, it's, it's like, this cool. crazy world. Yeah, and the end is then basically restoring it to Doom's on power, and the world's yeah. regular again. But it's a crazy fucking event, and I think if we get Doom, now that we know we're for sure going to no, expand Fantastic Four, like... That I'm pretty sure that's how they might kind of lead into it, especially if they st start with like Secret Invasion. I think that'll be a good like Avengers movie for when that came out equivalent, and then lead into that being the next big thing in like Phase Six or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I think that'd be cool. That'd be intense as fuck. That'd be a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, by then, I think, man, they're gonna be making so much money. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Fuck. Their budget is wild. Yeah, dude, seriously, fucking, you, they got that Disney money. They're like, dude, what you want to do, we can do anything. For real. <laughs> like, you want to film San Andreas? You want to? I really need someone to do that. You've never seen Doctor Strange, right? 
No. There's like 10 minutes of just like tripping on acid in that video. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay, so one of these days I'm going to have him watch that movie for an animal talk, but. Yeah. We're going to have him watch it a oh. particular way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch it the fun way. <laughs> yeah, that movie is trippy as fuck, bro. Dude, fuck. <laughs> I it's got like, some visuals. I feel like Marvel movies probably shouldn't be, but <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> well, it's Doc Strange. He kind of, he got that fucking magic and shit going on. Yeah, so this is like all weird fucking... Man, I've read his comics, so I heard it's like that too. It's just weird source of shit. Doc, fuck it. <laughs> Anytime I like see Doctor Strange, like, okay, so... Slash is known for posting weird shit on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Just like random ass weird ass shit yeah just weird pictures and shit anytime I see Doctor Strange I think of I get the same vibe of those pictures nice it's just like why <laughs> <laughs> whole lot of what <sighs> yeah but anyways what, what do you what do you think of some of my theories that you think they're solid you think they're trash no yeah they all make sense <laughs> and they all seem doable for Marvel to do that's all I'm saying and oh yeah and I also heard the dirt uh the Daredevil from the Netflix model show is gonna be in it. Like, they re got him to be. be yeah, he's, I think he's gonna be fucking Peter's lawyer. Wasn't there in, the like, a old, like an early 2000s Daredevil movie? Yeah, they had fucking Ben Affleck. That's the one I remember. Yeah, that's the one I always tell people. I don't think Ben Affleck was terrible for that. I think that was just a bad movie. Mm-hmm. However, I thought the suit was great. I don't know. Yeah, the know, suit was sick. I don't know what people talk about that whether they're like for it or not but I thought the suit was dope that's yeah. why I watched that movie so much when I was a kid but yeah the movie was trash but anyways Garbo. those are my theories let us know in the comments below what you thought of my theories what theories you might have and what you thought of Endgame and anything about the MCU you might think we want to talk about or know but yeah that's it for now yeah give me some good movies to watch shit yeah if you, you got any suggestions you want Frank to watch some and want us to talk about and, you know, I'll give y'all give my opinion some. I'll either tell you it's trash or it's Garbo but either way <laughs> we'll have a segment that's the point <coughs> it's getting filmed but anyways we're gonna pause it here and go to commercial break we'll catch you guys in a minute bitch So first, it was Christ. Like a cast to a flame, ignite when I spit, stay in the old lane. Cutting it, symbiote, watch me go insane. Laugh like the joker as they eat your brain. Don't go and crash. And then, there was Biatch. Car broke down in my girl and I got kicked out. Why just have to break the trust when I ignored all of my doubts? Lost my day job and my dog to the situation. My girl driving us while I'm deep. Now, we have Super Seeker Wars 30 to 30. Take that from the house. Come back and look at some more. Fuck, you know we got it, we just gotta get up and show it. Fuck, you know we own it, we just gotta seize the moment. And no matter what happens, you take that time and you hold it. These small problems shine through the light, all the way to the We got many problems, but we get over with the small ones. But we leave the biggest mark on this earth when we're all done. I bet I'm out here grabbing paint, you can't hold text I remember hitting with color plates before your legs would connect That means I was there and you come up and you still ain't shit Cross you out with one spray with a fat paint tip You started out as a toy, just another name to play with Nowadays you try too hard to look better when it was basic I'm hitting dusty fills, clean outlines when I write my name
Hey. Ride with a mask on my face. We living in a life that's a disastrous place. It's different for the times of the laugh and the taste. I'm just trying to get by with my past full of race. And I know it ain't right, but my life is at stake. Imagine just trying to be one of the greats. And you told it's all fake and it's all lies. But it's proven otherwise just by a mask and a cape. But I grabbed a mask and a blade. It seemed a lot easier than passing a braid. But she look like black canary Watch her make some fucking racket And the hips be rolling Like the waves of an ocean We hit your heart, i stolen And time starts slowing As I lay you down for that passionate sex Start a romantic, then we get dirty next Your body on mine is what I have in mind For you, I'll grind, cause you look so fine Back and forth, I'm going deep inside I stroke emotion like a bike show And we are back Alright So now, kind of, it's it's somewhat related as far as the MCU is, you know, a violence. fighting and violence, and it has fight scenes. So today, it's we got a really fun one, which is actually really hard for Frank and I to make our list, but it's top five fights on video. So this could be a movie, it could be a show, or it could be like World Star on YouTube. Doesn't fucking matter. Um, but yeah. We, we thought we'd do that with very funny restrictions, so that's that's pretty much it. We're going to do top five fights we've seen on video. Uh, Frank, do you want to start this one off? <laughs> okay. You should start it off, actually. You because start it, off? Yeah, because then it'll probably be more like in line of okay. the rest of, of how the episode was going. <laughs> my fights aren't normal fights. Here we go. All right. Well, real quick, because... I have some classics in it. That's great. I, I can be actually excited for yours now. But uh, real quick, I'm going to hit you with my honorable mentions because I had fucking a lot and it took forever to order, order these. These answers will probably change depending on the day. Um, honorable mentions, I got the Punisher prison fight. That was dope. Naruto versus Sasuke at the waterfall. Fuck, there's a prison fight I should have added. <laughs> Rock Lee, Drunken Fist versus Kimimaru. I got Oliver versus Richard Dragon prison fight. And Chinese Connection Dojo Fight and the Iron Monkey Last Fight. Okay, hold on. I'm take I'm taking one out. Gotta switch some. Yeah, because I just I found a prison fight. Real quick, hit me with the with the drum roll please. Drum roll please. At number five. I had to do one that's not a movie or a show. And for that, it's Mike Vallely versus 50 Cops yep. defending yep. Chad Muska. Yep. Dude, when you want to talk about a real fight, imagine you're 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 like a 10 year old kid, right? You're like, Mom, Dad, there's a skate event I really want to go to. Chad Muska's there. I want to try and get my board signed. Can you take me, please? And they're mm -hmm. like, All right, for sure. And you're standing there, and Chad Muska's ripping it, and bam, he fucking bails and. What happens? He got hurt. So he lets out a fuck. You know? Yeah. Just one fuck. And he then got randomly. Hurt. Security guard start, starts harassing you like, hey, you can't be saying that. But he's like, dude, I'm sorry. I got hurt. I just yelled fuck. Like, what's yeah. the big deal? And he's like, rah, rah, rah. Cop starts arresting him. Now, hold on. Before you get into Mike Valerie getting in there, I want to explain to you for those who don't know who Mike Valerie is. You can put any MMA fighter in the ring. I don't care. Maybe. I'm putting... I'm putting Mike Vallely in. Yep, every time. Doesn't matter. Every time, I don't, I'm winning. I know for a fact I'm winning because Mike Vallely is not losing. Now. It doesn't matter. Because Chad Muska's getting arrested for some bullshit. And Mike Vallely is down for skateboarding and didn't think that shit was cool. He starts fighting the cop. And what happens? The 50 or so cops and security guards jump in. And what happens? Mike Vallely's fucking him. He's so, oh, this is how fast he's throwing our hands. And I had to get one more knock. I was like 10 years old when I seen this, and Mike Vallely just became a god. Man, I have never seen so many hands go for one man and get knocked the fuck Here, out. Here's the thing. This is not his only scuffle. This he is has, not. He has a few. In fact... This one video led to like 50 other Mike V fights. Where me. he fights multiple people. And wins. Family. Every time. And then after that, does some weird ass fucking fast plant. Clean as hell. Mike Vallely might be the only guy I would put money uh, to like have a chance against Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Dude, you're, you're the best he out might, of us. He might be the only one to have a real chance. 
I mean, if Chuck Norris was good, if Chuck couldn't fucking handle him, nah, I fuck mean, that. Mike V has <laughs> got a chance, probably. I want to see Mike V versus Chuck Norris. Just give Mike V, this. like, two beers and he's good. <laughs> yeah, fucking chilling. And then he'll fucking hand plant on his chest afterwards. But yeah, if you have not seen this, I, I highly recommend you go on YouTube for a quick ten minutes. Just type in Mike Vallely versus Cops Chad Muska. That's all you'll need. After this episode, you will find it. After this episode, we gotta watch these fights um, just because they're all fucking great. I'm down. I'm down. Um, but yeah, that's my number five for the day. Goddamn. All right. So. Getting in Drum to number please. four. This is one of my favorite shows ever. I had to go with Arrow's season eight flashback fight. Now this I had to put because one, it was an end of an era, you know, it was the last fucking Arrow season. But also because he was just so raw in that one. Like it was him season one, but with like better choreographers and shit. And he literally it was like Mike V. He took on like fifty dudes with like AKs and shit. And he's just like punching, stabbing, shooting arrows so off. Mike V was a superhero. He's like walking up, pulling arrows out of guys he shot and stabbing dudes with it. Like, yeah. dude, I gotta show you the scene. This is one of the best arrow fight scenes. But it, it's like the beginning, the trailer for uh, Revelations. Yeah, like it's literally yeah. like that. He's just fucking them all, except he wins. Damn. And then the the thing I really like about the scene too is I thought his death scene was that good. I want to see him get like a real fucking heroes going out scene, yeah. and it just didn't quite get that. So to me, I felt like they kind of saw that like. Fuck, we gotta have like some really cool things like flashback for the last season. And they're like, fuck it. And so, yeah, I think this was a great fucking just choreographed fight and arrow. And I had to put at least one from that show because yeah. it's one of my favorites. So. Of course. Number four, season eight, flashback fight, arrow. But number three. Drum roll, please. I had to do an anime, of course. You know, me an anime. I'm going from Naruto, Kakashi versus Obito. This is like. Probably one of the most top tier best animated fight scenes, like in anime in general. Uh, fucking, I don't know if you've seen. I think I used it once uh, for one of the, my like side YouTube channel I have, where I just used to make random music videos. Yeah. For us. I think I used that. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like one of the sickest fight scenes ever. I think I know which one you're talking. Yeah, about. and that one it's like less like crazy jutsu like destroying world and stuff and it's just like straight scrapping like did they do some jutsu here but it's like knife work I forgot shit. did you ask me who my favorite Naruto character was or is that Jake no I think I'd have asked you before but I forgot okay I couldn't remember dude's name it was Rock Lee oh yeah I used to just call him fucking green dude cause the have you seen his drunken fist right it, it was that and just like I found his personality was kinda like similar to Naruto's but he wasn't Naruto? Yeah, he was like his, he was his own, but just, yeah. Whole, like, and plus Rock Lee is just a sick fucking man. Dude, I mean, from the get-go, the first time we seen him fight with Sasuke, kicks his ass. Yeah. Seen him fight with Gara, loses, but he yeah. was the first one yeah. to ever get a hit on Gara, so that was something, and yeah. man, dude, he was a beast. When he took off the weights, I was like, Whew. Yeah, dude's fucking goddamn. Dude, dude literally carrying 500 pound weights on his ankles, maybe more. Just cause. Just cause. And then he runs like the flash when he takes yeah. it off. Like, fuck. I, yeah, so. Rock League style. Regardless, though, Kakashi versus Obito, now this is a straight scrapper. They, like. Do you remember? I don't know if you've seen any of the arrow training scenes where he's with Diggle and then doing, like, the knife training scenes. Like, yeah. just, like, the Croft and God. They, like, doing that shit and, like, doing flips and, like. It's just crazy. It was one of the sickest fight scenes. But, yeah. I had to put that as my number three. For sure. But then into number two, I had to put the motherfucking Daredevil season one hallway fight. This is so dope because one, it's just like this is like gritty Marvel. Is this Netflix. the one you showed me where he's like not in suit and he's like yeah black suit and he's in a hallway yeah and he's like fighting like fifty dudes yeah yeah so yeah this one once again it's and not only first off the reason why this is like towards the top because the way the scene was done was amazing because it's all one shot Damn. and yeah it's literally just panning through the hallway like kind of back and forth eventually and he literally just fucks all these dudes up and all his, he's just got like rope tied around his hands and he's just fucking them all up and Fuck, man by the end of it like you could see he's tired and there's like one last guy and he just like 
fucking knocks him out, and then he's just like, <sighs> I don't know why that just reminded me. You know, it'd be a, a fucking sick ass DC movie to get now huh. is a Wildcat movie. That would actually. I think be that cool. would be fucking sick. Just I think if we old, got something like that just, too, just like it's the scene where like, or I can picture the trailer right now, like a store is getting robbed with like thirty dudes, and then some <sighs> old ass dude watching it, and they're like, get on the ground, and he's like. One second. Leaves, comes back in Wildcat costume and just starts whooping ass. Bro, like, that'd be fucking tight. Bro, and they, do, they, they should do that just like a gritty Daredevil show, but it would be Wildcat. Yeah. Like, he'd just be fucking dudes up. I and think. he's just old as shit. Like, he has to, yeah, he'll be like he has 45. To sneak, he has to sneak out of a retirement home <laughs> to fucking go whoop ass at night. Dude, I'd actually be kind of down for that. I'm not a big Wildcat fan, but I'd be down for that for sure. Just to see it? Yeah. No, that'd be sick. He runs into, like, young superheroes. They're like, so, uh, how old are you? I turn 64 next week. <laughs> what, motherfucker? <laughs> Wildcat. <laughs> like, hey, uh, cool. do any of y'all have a paper bag I can shit in? I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you want to die for Grandpa? Oh, never mind, I'm good. Anybody got any paper towels? I got white. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I try to But anyways, Daredevil Hallway scene, that's right. Um, fucking yeah, so... DC beats the fuck out of like 50 dudes and then just saves the kid and yeah man it's just gritty and I even though I love seeing him in his like his actual suit it's cool seeing him in the all black cause he did have like an all black suit in the comics that, yeah like, that's why it made me so think of Wildcat because yeah. it was all black suit and then rope around the hands yeah exactly and I was like so Wildcat I was like we need a Wildcat yeah. <laughs> but yeah fucking gritty as shit if you haven't watched Daredevil watch it it's super good um it's one of the better, sh it's probably the best one out of the fucking Marvel Netflix shows, honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my number two. two. Yeah. Right number now. one. Roll, please. I had to do at least one Kung Fu movie. There's one I had to really do above all else, and that's the Ong Bak bar fight scene. Mm. Which one? Uh, or the just first all one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I thought you were just going to group all, all three. Now, there are a lot of good fight scenes in this. In fact, there are probably some better ones because of, like, the better fighters. But this one I like because of just how fucking gritty it was. The, the whole off. scene puts it together. He just fucking everyone up. And then that last dude who just, like, can't fight, but he's just, like, a crazy fucking, ah, dude, you know, yeah. like, crackhead. So, fuck yeah, he's just, like, throwing glass bottles at him and, like, trying to electrocute him and on box still just, like, hitting him with that Muay Thai, just, like, <laughs> fucking him up. And then finally he fights him all the way from the ground floor up the stairs <laughs> and then fucking knees him out the balcony window back into the bar fight arena area. And, dude... He just jumps back in, like, okay, we bet. If, if you guys want to see... I done me, kick your ass all the way around this bar. Yeah. Literally all the way of every spot in there, people were freaking out because like they were getting too close, and he was like throwing people at him. But uh, yeah, Bitch. if you want to see a really like gritty, kick-ass kung fu movie, check out the first on Bok. Personally, it's my favorite. A lot of people I've heard like the second or third one more, but I don't know. That first one just was like so dope to me, and it was just like it was sick. It was just like street. China, Tokyo, mm -hmm. wherever, I forget where exactly, but just so dope. Um, dude didn't even want to be a part of it, and he just came in there and whooped ass. He's like, no, dude, this is, yeah. this is light. Yeah, oh yeah, check that out, check this out. So he's from like a little village, and he's like the protector of his village, and some shit gets stolen, and he has to, you know, go bring it back and whatever for his village, and uh, for shit. one of the... I forget exactly what the relation is, but someone that's close to him that lives in the village is like, hey, you have a cousin, uh, you remember him, blah, blah, he lives out there, go find him, he can help you out. Well, anyways, his cousin's been, like, hustling and selling drugs and shit. Yeah, the he's, gambling problem. You know, and this guy, he's, like, raised as, like, a, like, like, Buddhist monks and shit, and is, like, protector of a small little farm village, so, anyways, he gets there and is, is, you know... After a while, his uh, cousin is, like, cool and is, like, honored and, like, he ends up dying to, like, help get it back and everything. So, like, he redeems himself. But in the early days, he fucking, like, signs fucking uh, teeing up for fights and shit. And that's how he even gets put into this whole mess is because he's trying to sign up and get all the money from it. He's and like, so, hey, I know this dude whoop ass. I, I got to get some money tonight. And so fucking, yeah, he's all looking for him, but he's walking into the ring on accident, you know, trying to look for him because it's not, like, a designated ring. And, yeah, he just, he starts having to fight dudes left and right. He starts whooping ass all the way through. Yep. Wins every round. All right.
But that yes. is my number one. Hold up. There we go. <laughs> the big one. But recapping that real quick, I got Mike Bellilli first is 50 Cops at number five. Arrow Season 8 Flashback at number four. Kakashi versus Obito at number three. Daredevil Season 1 Hallway Fight at number two. And Ong Bak Bar Fight at number one. Fucking sick fights. Damn, we gotta watch now, all these after. Just know, Ryan's fights are very, very, very different than my fights. Some of my fights aren't even serious. So, with that being said, starting at number Drum five, roll, please. there is a classic YouTube video, very old, shot only in the hood, and I called this Old Ghetto Jedi YouTube video. You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, I think so. Yep. It's dude in a red shirt, and I forgot the other shirt. They're all arguing, whatever. Shit pops off. They both pull out fucking lightsabers yep. and start going <laughs> at it. Shit goes the wrong way, though. Dude gets stabbed. It's and they're awesome. all like, oh, shit. <laughs> and yeah, dude drops. It's a fucking classic. If, if you're no younger than Frank Sa Frank's age, you know what we're talking about. If you've you know this YouTube. fucking video. And I'm pretty sure if you search up on YouTube, Old Ghetto Jedi YouTube video. <laughs> you good? Going up. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Sorry, shit popping off out here. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Fucking, yeah, that's a, oh, fuck, never mind, I'll mention that later, anyway, yeah, old ghetto Jedi YouTube video, here's my number five, and number four, drum roll please, I had to, I told you I had to bring prison fight into there, oh, shit. There we go. so this one I called tater tot fight, oh, God. now let me, let me explain oh, this, God. let me explain this, this dude, oh god! This dude owed this dude's little brother some tater tots, right? Basically, he had gotten some from his tray, and he was like, "Hey, in two days, I got you on tater tots on my tray." And he's like, "All right, for sure, two days, I got you." <laughs> two days came, he didn't, he didn't give him his tater tots. Word got around to his older brother, and he's like, "Hey, dude, I don't like, I don't like the way you try to fuck around my younger brother. You owe him some tater tots, bro." And he was like. Dog, it's tater tots, chill. And he was like, nah, fuck that. You try to play my brother, dude. We can either get it right now or we can, how you want to handle this. So dude leaves or whatever because it's still kind of early. They wait for every, like, all the cleaners to come pick up the trays and shit. They pick up the trays and the older brother comes back out and he's like, hey, dude, I'm ready for you whenever the fuck you are. Just come to the cell and get a crack. And he's like, fuck, all right. And dude's just chilling on his bunk. Starts putting his shoes on, and the dude's like, alright guys, he's getting ready. So they're just, you know, getting amped up in the cell. Dude walks all the way over to the cell, and right before he steps in, he just stretches really quick. Sets up, runs in, gets his ass whooped. Just gets his shit rocked over tater tots. Like, god damn. So, yeah, they're all fighting and shit, right? After a while, it gets breaking up. And then you see the two dudes come out, right? The, the older brother comes out first. You know, he looks like he maybe got hit a little bit, got maybe a bruise, he's just tired. Other dude comes out. Black guy, bleeding all over his fucking face, just, he got his shit rocked. So, yeah, that's... You done, son. Dog, you better give him the, some motherfucking them tater tots in prison, bro. <laughs> this fucking, shit gets serious. Don't be fucking around with them tots, man. Oh yeah, I'm going to be showing you these later. Yeah, no, we're going to watch all these fights. <laughs> we got to. All right, so yeah, number four, Tater Tot Fight. Tater Tot Fight. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> number, th all right, number three. Drum roll, please. This is a fight that I found on an Instagram page called Crime Faces. Check them out. Oh, it's yeah, pretty dope. fucking funny. Yeah, thanks for showing this me This one out. is called Bunker Bonsai's. You might have seen this one. This takes place in like an army bunker and oh, it's just like yeah. there's two dudes right <laughs> and like this they got crazy. boxing gloves on and they're going at it and one dude is like he's like fighting the entire time and doesn't like legitimately get dropped but it looks like he gets dropped like seven fucking times and still like gets back up and just gets re-dropped and gets right back up and then fucking back on the yeah ground. like I'll, I'll say this like he getting his shit rocked but he, he didn't give up. <laughs> no, yeah, he definitely... He went like Naruto, but with less skill. Yeah, he just, <laughs> just kept getting his shit. Beat. No no level up at any moment. Like, if he would have gave up after the first drop, it would have been cool. But he got up, and we're like, oh, okay, he'll fire. And then got dropped again, and we're like, oh, okay. And then he got up again, and we're like, oh, okay. And then he fucking dropped again, and we're like, all right, dog. You chilling? <laughs> he gets back up, and we're like, oh, he's back on the fucking ground. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... 
That's uh, a good one. Yeah, check out Crying Faces. They got a lot of funny shit on there. I only tried to put a one uh, Instagram fight in here. So, yeah. Yeah, I tried that, to do, like, one of each, too. Yeah. Number th- three is actually a bit, a sort of more serious fight. Drum roll, please. This is from one of the only shows that I've ever, like, fully watched a season of the Wu-Tang Saga. And this is the Wu-Tang versus Shaolin reboot fight. I thought this was fucking hilarious yeah, and sick at the same time. That, when I, I had to rewind it because I was like, wait, what the yeah, fuck? I I noticed it at, sneakers? Yeah, I noticed it at first. They changed from the like, regular shoes, and I was like, wait, hold on, they're wearing dunks. And then I heard, yo, and I was like, wait, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> I was like, this is fucking tight. I need the whole movie done like this. Yeah, so dude. because of that fight scene, I literally went and watched the original Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang. And compare the similarities, and it is fucking accurate. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like literally a, an exact representation from like the clothes, except the, the fucking dunks. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, even the dunks matched. Like it still went with the outfit. It yeah, didn't it's, look. It's, they made odd. it work. Yeah. It's just, like you had to notice it. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, that scene was fucking great. I love that. Yeah, scene. I definitely want. Rissa, you're a genius. Yeah, I definitely that want them to do more shit like that in season two. I, I think that'd so. be sick that'd as be fuck. Sick. Yeah, like seriously, if they could just do that while they're like in the background, chilling at the pad, and it's just on, but it's just all of that yeah. now, that'd be sick as fuck. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Sad. Number two is the Wu Tang vs. Shaolin reboot fight in the Wu Tang. So that was a dope one. For my number one, I took a, a different direction. For Drum roll, please. So when you said top five fights, you didn't say they didn't have to be verbal fights. So I'm picking Idea versus Shells in the 2001 Blaze Battle. We did not specify that it couldn't be that. So yeah, that that counts. Idea fucking ripped Shells. Yeah, he does. <laughs> on stage, on television. Oh shit! Bar. And I, I had to do something different for the last time. I had to. Real quick, if y'all don't know Idea, you need to check. Regardless of his freestyles, just check him he, out. He's an IRL B rabbit, even though it's supposed to be Eminem. But rest in peace. But yeah, fucking, that's a great battle. Yeah, goddamn. I had to go back and rewatch the entire like Blade battle mm-hmm. just to see who he was competing against and I was like oh yeah all y'all would have been fucked <laughs> <laughs> yeah really. no he fucking he killed us there was a fight in that it was great <laughs> <laughs> fuck I forgot who was the rapper that was fighting but it was like someone in the crowd talking to shit yeah I remember that was That's fucking funny. great it was hosted by uh, KRS1 it was the perfect way to host it mm-hmm. but yeah that idea versus shows is fucking yeah, y'all should check that one out. That's dope real quick if, you, if you're if you into hip-hop and shit. So, yeah, that's number one for me. So, running it back, I got uh, Old Ghetto Jedi YouTube video. Whoop. The Tater Top Prison Fight. Yep. Bunker Bonsai's Bunker bonds from uh, Crime Faces. Uh-huh. Wu-Tang vs. Shaolin uh, yeah. reboot fight. And to end it off, Idea vs. Shell plays Battle 2001. Fire. Goddamn. All right, let us know uh, your thoughts in the comments, what you thought of our answers, and let us know uh, your top five favorite fights on video, if you have any. Um, and remember, we didn't specify physical or verbal. We actually did not, so yeah, it could be a freestyle battle. It could be whatever, as long as it's some kind of fight. If you can justify it as being a fight, it works. If I can justify it is, put in your work. Yep. <laughs> but now... Getting into our last segment of the day, another fun one. I actually really like doing this one every yeah. time. Um, we got You Can Only Choose Three. Yes. And for this one, it's a comedy show based one, which, Ryan, go ahead, throw it up on the screen. But, anyways, as you can see, we got some great ones here. Uh, starting at the top left, going across, we got It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We got Blue Mountain State. Work all, oh, you wanted me to do it? No. It was, uh, yeah. We got Workaholics. We got Trailer Park Boys. We got Letter Kenny. We got The Office. We got Mr. Show. Chappelle Show. And Red Dwarf. <coughs> so, yeah, I put this list together. It was, it was a fun one. I just tried to pick a bunch of. I was like, you need to specify what you want me to do. And I, tr- I, I tried to I tried to really hit it up. I was like, I even got, you know, like the office and Red Dwarf to like switch yeah. it up a little, you know? But, yeah, so 
Uh, a lot of a lot of good picks on here. There's a couple more that are more known, and there's a couple more. I think I on. think I already know what mine is, and mine just proves of how simple of a dude I am. I think I only know like my right off the bat. The rest I'm probably gonna have to. All right, so into. I'm basically going from the <coughs> top down. I'm going Blue Mountain State, Trailer Park Boys, Chappelle Show. Nice, that's a good one. Only because those are out of all the shows, those are the only three I've really like watched. Yeah, I feel it. Which, by the way, we do know about Chappelle show screwing over Dave Chappelle. That sucks. So yeah, yes, we, I haven't watched. It I haven't as watched as it recently, since then. But yeah, but before that, you can't deny his work on that is fucking great. Yeah, so. I still have to throw it in there for that reason. Yeah, but okay. So I only know my right off the bat. I have to go with because it's my favorite out of like comedy shows, and that's Blue Mountain State. Yeah. That shit is fucking hilarious. For real. Um, <sighs> Man, no, it's it's a hard one here because I think it, the the main ones that'll come down to is it's always sunny, Trailer Park Boys. Even though I'm kind of tired of it at the moment, I still love The Office a lot, and Red Dwarf. Yeah. Uh, got a lot of love for Mr. Show though. Got a lot of love for Chappelle Show. Got yeah. a lot of love for Workaholics. Got not it, my least favorite out of this, but I still love it is Letter Kenny. Um, so that one, that, that'll be the easy Speaking go. Speaking of, uh, Workaholics, I actually gotta, like, watch it. I feel like I could watch Workaholics. You haven't watched that thing? No. Oh, dude, you love that show. Yeah, I've only seen, like, a couple episodes. Yeah, you need to watch that. Yeah. Uh, it's on, I think it's either on Hulu or whatever, but For we sure. have all the accounts, so. Um, but yeah, Frank will start watching that, and then we'll, we'll eventually well, do can. a take on that, what he thinks. Uh, the, the one where the... There's like two favorite episodes of mine. There's the one where they do shrooms and camp out in the office, and there's the one where they do acid on the business trip. Those two are my favorite. My uh, the <laughs> one I've seen, I think I've seen the one where they did shrooms. That the one where there's like all the copiers or whatever in the back office, and they end up like getting destroyed or some shit, or like a bunch of paintings or some shit. Maybe I'll I remember they were on shrooms, tripping the fuck out, destroying shit, and it was something important that they were trying to need. Oh to yeah, because basically these two guys come in. They think they're, like, robbers and shit, and they're, like, trying to hack into the mainframe, so, like, I think they'd break that, so they can't. But it turns out they're just, like, IT guys, like, running work on all the computers and shit, but they're doing it at night so people can use yeah. their computers during the day. Fucking, and the other one I seen that I, like, remember was fucking when they stayed up hell late getting drunk as fuck and mm -hmm. woke up still drunk, and they're like, wait, fuck, we're still drunk. We have to get to work. <laughs> and then uh. the... Just getting fucked on the way there. Yeah. All right, I think I think I know now a couple I'm going to toss out. I think I'm going to toss out Chappelle Show and Workaholics next. And then Mr. Show. There we go. So okay. now I just got, uh, it's always sunny, uh, Trailer Park Boys, Red Dwarf, and Office to the side. No, I think I'm going to have to do a kind of split. I'm basically, it's coming down to one side. I'm going to have to decide between It's Always Sunny and Trailer Park Boys and then The Office and Red Doors because I kind of like separate those. Like, yeah. One's more like raunchy comedy. The other's more like just like almost family kind yeah. of comedy. But I think when it comes to the raunchy, I'm going to have to go with Trailer Park Boys. Yeah. I just put so much time into it and I remember watching it for the first time and that shit was just yeah, fucking it was great. Yeah, hilarious. And then... Damn, I love The Office and I love Red Dwarf, but I think I'm going to have to give it to uh, the British comedy here and go with Red Dwarf because uh, I like the little sci-fi Star Trek parodiness to it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go with Blue Mountain State, Trailer Park Boys, and Red Dwarf for my picks. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys would pick. What, what, what would you choose for your top three? Um... A lot of fucking fire picks there. It's hard. That was a hard one for me. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Um, but that is it for the day. Don't forget to check out all the links below. We got a lot of cool projects coming out. We had a lot of cool stuff in the commercials. Um, you know, we also post stuff to anything else we'll talk about below too. And also, you know, don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe. Show us some love in the comments. And we'll see y'all next time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, bitch. Alright, peace. Bye. Yo, what's up, guys? B-Boy Ninja here. 
As always, thank you for watching the show. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, leave us some comments below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the SAR videos that we come out with. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Welcome to the show, this is our animal talk. Live long and prosperous in the words of Spock. Comic books, art, and video games on the agenda. Discuss flows, movies, and shows with the two sound vendors. Welcome to the stage of the spirit animals. Direct and be born into about to grasp at your souls. And hit you in the fields with a little bit of nostalgia. Thanks for tuning in to us for around the next hour. Black Clover, Black Hula, and that Tokyo Goo. Naruto, Inuyasha, and Samurai Shampoo. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in the GTA franchise. Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. Or are you a Tekken guy? Arrow versus the MCU and everything between. Are you lost like hate or Daenerys style queen? Four wheels on the floor, what you know about? Keep pushing so much of interest, they've all been smushed. Be the host, racing you with the most. It doesn't matter which coast will rock with a boast. Burst bubble, watch us dig into this deep. We're gonna dissect and examine these in full peak. Cause it's the animal talk, the show we speak what you watch. Yeah, this the animal talk, we be speaking just so you can watch. Cause it's the animal talk, the show we speak while you watch. Send us in your comments so we can bring it up on the next watch.